everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Jewelry Canada. Today we are going to be learning how to make hoops in order to make hoop earrings. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, you're going to need some wire. Today I'm using the 0.8 millimeter aluminum wire. You can get this from your hardware store in the welding section. You're going to need your um, needle nose pliers, your round nose pliers, a nylon hammer, and your flush cutters. So you're going to start by taking whatever your circular thing is. Today I'm using one of those jumbo sharpies, but you could also use like a glue stick or something like that. And we're going to wrap around this five times, okay? And we want them all nice and tight and close in together. Okay. So you want to make sure that you have five. So you're counting one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then we're going to hold this so it doesn't spring on us. And we're going to use our flesh cutters, cut our wire. We are going to take our, oops, got a kink in there. There we go. We are going to take our nylon side of our hammer. If you have a hammer like I have, you're using the nylon side, not the metal. And we're just going to give this some hardening, okay? And just by, by um, hammering it, and we're going to do that all the way around to give it some hardening. Here we go, okay? Let's do that all the way around. Okay, now we're going to put our nylon hammer aside and we're going to spring it off of our cylinder. Now what you're going to want to do is you want a full circle and then you want a half. So we're going to cut this down here. So when you're looking at it, you've got a full circle and then half ways on each side. So you're gonna make two of those, okay? So let's look at it. We want full circle and then about a half. Okay, there we go. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your round nose pliers and you're gonna grip that about in the middle, okay? about in the middle. You are gonna bring one side up 90 degrees, okay? Using the same round nose pliers, you're gonna decide what width you want your loop and you're gonna bring it down so that it's facing all the way down around your pliers. Now taking your flat or your needle nose pliers, you're going to hold the loop and you're going to take this tail and wrap it around. Okay. And I usually do a good two or three wraps. Then you're going to cut the excess. Okay. There we go. Now with the other one, the other part that's sticking down, we are going to again hold it where our loop is and we're going to bend this up we are then going to wrap it around again i like to do usually two or three wraps and then we will give that a cut there we go so now you're just going to, whoops, I didn't cut that very close now, did I? I'm going to give it a cut. Okay, now we're going to take our pliers and we're just going to just give that a tuck in. Sorry, I'm too close. Let's give that a tuck in. You can also do this with um, nylon pliers if you're worried about 
scuffing your so I give it a push in I am gonna use my nylon pliers just because I have them if you don't have them you can use just your needle nose and you might get a few teeth marks but you can buff that out and then you just give it some turns see and it did what I didn't want it to do so I'm going to push it back and then I'm going to try again. And you know, a lot of people will take their bloopers out like when something doesn't work. But for me, I think it's better to show you how to make it work. So we're just turning it so that it, it goes around. Because we don't want that sticking out. Okay, so now to the other side, we're going to do the same thing. See, we have our little... And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to just turn it around so that it goes down nicely. And it's not going to do anything to anyone. And then you're going to manipulate it so it's round, as round as you want. And if you want, you can give it some more hammers. It would be better to do on an anvil, but you could just, just to harden it up, right? You could give it some more. But there you go. You basically have a loop. It's not perfect, but the thing is, it's a handmade earring, right? But now you can use this to build your hoop earring. So let's do that again. You're going to grab it from the middle, okay? You're grabbing the two. You can even use the needle nose for this. You're grabbing the two in the middle. You're bringing the one up 90 degrees. You're taking your round nose. You are going to bend it around so that it's flat. Flat. Okay, so you're here. You want it to be flat. Okay, so it's looking like this. Then you're going to hold. Go from the top. You're going to hold these. And you're going to start your wrap once, twice, three times, cut, holding, you're going to bring this one, holding this. You know what, let's hold it from the top. We're going to hold this. We're going to bring it up. And then we're going to start wrapping. Two and three. Okay. Straighten that out. Crimp this together. And you're going to cut. I'm sorry, I keep going out of focus. Cut, and I notice that this one isn't cut right, right down. So we're going to cut that right down. Then you're going to take your nylon pliers, if you have them. If you don't, you can use just the, the um, flat nose. Or needle nose but we're just gonna give that a twist around so that our our tail is hidden and using going to the other side we're gonna do the same thing and it takes some practice right like I don't make these very often and for some reason my loops are kind of going cockeyed today but you can bend them back there we go. I mean, it's wire. You can manipulate it, right? So let's just give that a little bit of manipulation. This can get... I like to tighten my coils a little more. Okay, and then you can give this... And there you go. You have another loop. So we have two loops now to do our hoop earrings. And 
and that's how you do that guys and now you can um do your threading along there so thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe practice these you'll get better and better at them mine are kind of a little wonky but you know what that adds to the character as far as i'm concerned of the earrings okay so thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and i'm trying so hard to get to a thousand subscribers so yeah help me grow my business subscribe have a great day guys bye now